so today is January 16th. I go back to work in three days and there's a lot that I would like to get done before that happens. So the goals and the tasks for the day, my to-do list for the day is I need to take down my Christmas stuff, my tree. I'm a little bit sad. I love having the tree there. I wish it was, you know, I, w I mean, I guess I could leave the tree there. It's my house. I could, I could leave the tree up all year if I want, but it doesn't quite feel right. So I'm taking down all my Christmas stuff, which isn't a lot, will not take me long. My tree is super easy to dismantle. So I'm gonna take down all my Christmassy things, put that all back away in my storage locker. And then I'm gonna give my apartment just like a general clean. I'm not gonna do any sort of like thorough deep clean, but I am gonna do my basic, you know, weekly clean where I dust everything. And then ideally I would love to do some Ben writing because I have not written since, if you watched my last vlog, since the day that I wrote the 1,014 words, which means I still have over 7,000 words to write if I wanna get my 10,000 words in before I go back to work. So I'm gonna try to make uh, make a dent in that tonight and we'll see, we'll see where we go from there. That's my to-do list for today and I'm feeling good about getting getting that done. I'm in pain. I'm in a whole lot of pain. It's day two of my period. For all my folks out there who have, you know, a uterus, um, you know, or maybe you don't know. Uh, if you don't know, you're lucky. But for those who have a uterus and there's pain, you know what I'm dealing with right now. But I'm powering through, okay? I'm gonna power through and we're gonna get some work done. I know I'm hard to love. I can never get enough. Sometimes you're too much I'm down then I'm up I know I'm hard to love I know I'm hard to please I'm never happy it seems But you put my heart at ease When it's crashing like the seas I know I'm Alright, so it's a little bit later It's about 4.20 I've had lunch. I took down all my Christmas stuff. I left my little lights, my twinkly lights up because I just like them. I've cleaned my entire apartment. I've done the dishes. I've done all that stuff. And now I'm going to spend the next hour just writing. Also, I realized that I never really introduced myself or, you know, kind of explain what Ben is in any of my vlogs because I just, I feel like I just make these vlogs for myself and for like the people who've been following me for, you know, all this time. So I feel like everyone already kind of knows what it is, but I should probably at the very least like introduce myself once in a while and maybe just mention what Ben is about. But hello, my name is Diane. I work in film and television by day. I'm an on-set props person and assistant prop master. Yeah, I work in props on set, but I also like to write. I, I enjoy writing, among other things. I also really love horror movies and most recently I'm a Especially obsessed with Brendan Fraser and Brendan Fraser movies. If you've watched like the last three of my vlogs, you'll, you'll know. And when it comes to Ben, Ben is the kind of temporary title. It's just what I call um, this story, but it's the first novel that I have ever written. I wrote a zero draft of this novel back in September of 2020. So that was, that was a while ago. I'm currently working on the second draft and essentially I don't have like a log line or anything for it, but it is a new adult contemporary novel. It's about family. It's about friendship. There is a road trip element to it. It is based in Canada. It actually goes between Toronto, Ontario and Halifax, Nova Scotia. So there's a little bit of traveling and then there's just a lot of good times, I think. At least I'm gonna try to make it a good time for the for the reader. For 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 the characters, there are good times. Um, and then there's also, you know, hard times. But we are currently working on the second draft. It is taking me entirely too long, like entirely too long. It's, I almost feel ashamed to call myself a writer because I don't make enough time to write. And that's something that I really, I really wanna work on. Now, granted, I work in film and television like I mentioned so when I am working I barely have time to eat sleep and shower so um, I'm doing my best okay I'm doing the most and so I'm going back to work on Wednesday in like a couple days so I need to do a little bit of writing before I go back so that I can you know make a make a little bit of progress I really want to finish this draft in the next couple months and um, yeah, I am on chapter five right now and we are 198 words into chapter five. And so chapter five is actually new. I don't have this chapter in the zero draft. I'm adding it in because I feel like, I feel like I just kind of needed a little bit uh, of space here. I'm gonna do some writing. It's 4.30, so I need to get, I need to get some writing done. Looking for changing myself, taking the easy way out is never gonna take me there. Cause I don't really 
Okay, so it is much later in the day. It's about 8.45 right now. I am home. I went to go visit my parents. I'm currently watching Forensic Files, not a Brendan Fraser movie. I told myself I wouldn't watch a Brendan Fraser movie today, but that being said, I have changed <laughs> my phone background to Brendan Fraser and also my laptop background. So, you know, still going strong. Right now I'm doing some work stuff and I'm gonna do a little bit of secret project stuff. I managed to write not very much. I didn't get too many words. I was a little bit distracted and I kind of started to get a headache while I was writing earlier, but I managed about 251 words, I think. I have a little bit for each scene of this new chapter five. I don't love the first scene in chapter five. It's just not good. It's a bit boring and I feel like I'll need to, chapter five is just gonna need a, an overhaul 100%. But you know, we're, we're working through it. We're getting something out. And then the next pass, I'll, I'll figure out something a little bit better. So yeah, not too many words added to my 10,000 word goal. It's not looking too good for having 10,000 words by Tuesday night, but that's okay. If I can't get it by Tuesday night, I'll get it by, you know, the end of the week. It'll be fine. I think I really need to stop giving myself uh, word count goals and deadlines. Even if I feel like they're realistic, I just never seem to really meet them, at least not since I wrote my zero draft. And even though I'm very forgiving and I'm okay to, you know, extend deadlines, I'm starting to feel a little bad. I'm starting to feel a little bit like I'm just not good enough and I'm not liking that. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna step away from making goals like that and just, just have the general goal of of doing my best and trying to write as often as I can. That's the vibe we're going with this year, okay? We're just gonna do our best and power through. Today is January 17th. I am feeling especially good today. I'm feeling pretty good just like generally, like health-wise, mood-wise. And it's also, it's a huge, it's a snow day. There is so much snow outside. I woke up at about 7.15 this morning, feeling like mostly rested. I am really glad that I don't have to go out there at all. Like I don't need to drive out in the snow. No, originally I was supposed to do my COVID test to be able to go back to work on Wednesday. They emailed me and said that uh, testing was canceled today and that it's gonna be tomorrow. So hopefully it also works out and I can still go in on Wednesday. But yeah, so right now it is currently 10.30. I just wanna show my phone because he's so hot. It's currently 10.30. I've been up, like I said, since 7.15 and I'm feeling pretty good. So I've had breakfast. I've, you know, gotten ready for the day. Today's gonna be a big getting work done day. So today I need to definitely work on Ben, but I also really need to do some actual work work. So I need to, you know, go over the scripts from work. I need to do all that stuff, start doing my breakdowns and stuff and uh, actually focus on some work things. I need to do that today. Another thing I want to do today is make some hot chocolate and just like dip my cookies in it. I am definitely, there's going to be hot chocolate today. It is absolutely a hot chocolate day. And you know what else? It's also a horror movie watching day and it's a Brendan Fraser movie watching day. I, I know that I can go a day without watching a Brendan Fraser movie. You know, that's all I need to know. I did it. I know that I can do it. Now I'm back on to watching more Brendan Fraser movies. So those are my main goals. Anything else I can get done today is just like, it's, it's, it's icing on the cake. Okay. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling energized. I'm gonna get started on some Ben work. Okay, so it's about 12.15 right now. I did a little bit of Ben writing, which is really, really good. I decided to switch it up a bit instead of writing on my couch, which is where I always write. I instead wrote at like my kitchen counter, which I did a lot of when I was doing the zero draft, but I don't think I've done any writing there for my second draft. So it felt really good. It felt really good to um, do some writing there. I got 736 words, I believe, in about an hour and a half. It was pretty distracted. I also did, um, I made some notes and I did 
did a lot of did a lot of this you know a lot of thinking about things so this is chapter five and it's a new chapter that i've just added in so i don't have a zero draft to work off of i don't have you know a an outline for this i just have a general idea of what the purpose of it is so i have just been kind of discovery writing my way through and it's feeling good so right now i have two scenes i might need to add another scene depending on how this scene goes i think i will need to write another scene so i'll have three scenes in this chapter so this scene that i'm writing in particular is interesting because it's an interaction between two characters that i've established as having you know a specific type of relationship and there is there's just like you know it's 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 just kind of been one way and in this scene they're having an interaction that is a little is different than all of the interactions that I've written between them in this book I think it's the right way to go I think because the main purpose of this scene is something needs to happen that kind of pushes my character my main character to do something and um, I needed I don't I don't really know I, I don't really know exactly like in the first draft it's kind of like it's not really like a thing that happens that makes her do the thing it's just kind of I don't know how to explain it but um, I wanted this time in this draft to try a little something more. I wanted to to give her a little bit more of a, of a thing. I'm sorry if this is really annoying that you have no idea what's going on and I'm still trying to talk to you about it. But anyway, so I am trying a thing and it involves an interaction between two characters who've never really had an interaction like this in the zero draft. And not that it's like super dramatic or anything, but um, it's just a slightly different interaction and I'm liking it. I don't know if it's enough. I don't know if it's like the right way to go, if there's should be something else but this is the version of this chapter that I am writing now and this is what I'm going with so when I go through again and do read through and whatnot and as the, as the story progresses and as I progress as a writer and just as a storyteller and I learn more about the story and these characters I'll I'll tweak it if I need to but right now this is the way I'm going and we'll see how it all pans out I also started chapter six technically. So I'm excited. I kind of got, you know, I got some things rolling and um, I feel good. I feel like I can keep writing, but I am gonna stop writing for now because I have a bunch of other things to do and it's about 12, 20 now. So I'm gonna do some work work. I want to just check off all the things on my to-do list today. So I'm gonna work on some like actual work work for the next like two hours and then I'll get, uh, I'll get on to my movie watching part of the day. I think I'm also gonna have lunch at some point in between all that stuff so I'll let you know how it all goes. I am hungry so it's about 2 p.m. I have finished reading the two scripts I need to read for work so I'm gonna be the key on the floor for these first two episodes which means I'm the boss of the props department on set which makes me nervous it's not it's not my favorite position just because I know the way my brain works and just the way that I am. I know that I'm not super comfortable as the key, but this show is different from the other shows that I've worked on before and especially the last show that I just worked on where it was like 45 minute episodes and it was, you know, post-apocalyptic. It was a different vibe from this new show. So I feel like in a lot of ways it'll be easier on me. I feel like it won't be as intense. So I'm looking forward to it. And at the same time, I'm actually gonna be starting a new position that I've never done before, which is the props buyer. So I'm gonna have to go out and you know buy the things I have to buy the props to buy the things that we need for the shoot I'll need to know how to do all the paperwork and and work the cash cards and the and get check racks all the stuff that I don't even know like, I don't even know but I know that there's there's a lot uh, a lot more stuff that I'll need to do I do really like organizing and I like paperwork so I feel like I'm gonna enjoy kind of learning that part of the job um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try out this position I feel like in theory I would really enjoy this position I, I love driving around I love shopping that's that's a big part of what a buyer does so I think it could be good I think it could be good and I feel like this is a really good opportunity to kind of dip my toes in and like learn about this position because it is for a short time it's you know on just a pilot so it's a good way to kind of get my feet wet a little bit and and learn learn about it so yeah all that being said right now I'm gonna make some lunch I'm hungry what I've decided to make is this is like my favorite uh, quick meal to eat. So I just, you know, 
heat this up and mix in the sauce, which is delicious, okay? Delicious. I discovered this in my vegan days when I was vegan back in 2016 to 2019. I discovered it and I, I fell in love with it. So it's still something that is I love eating. So I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna just use up the rest of these mushrooms before they, no, they're still good. So I'm gonna cut up the rest of these and just mix it in with this and it's gonna be so good. Okay, I'm partway through my meal, but I'm currently watching a horror movie called We Are Still Here. It came out in 2015. It's got ghosts and ghosts really scare me. Like anything ghost or like possession related really scares me. Like it creeps me out, like it gets deep. Like it's in my bones, you know? Um, so this is, uh, this is gonna be great. Apparently her son just passed and there are creepy things going on. She's hearing noises. So she's going to investigate in the basement, which I never recommend. Recommend. First of all, don't get a house with a basement and also um, don't go investigate noises that you hear in the basement. It's just not, it's just not, it's just no. Tell me one time that worked out for anybody. Never. It's not Bobby. It's the ghosts. You weren't there when she was hearing noises, okay? See, she's convinced it's her dead son who's like, you know, doing these things um, in the house. Are these guys going to tell him the lore? So, uh, cheers. Oh, here. New friends. New beginnings. Mm -mm. Ghost hauntings. Old Dagmar drank himself to death in a war that you later. Will you take care of this old place then? It needs a family. To eat! 30 years since we've had fresh souls in the Dagmar house. Fresh souls. Who talks like that? The guy's wife slipped a note to the man. The house needs a family. Get out. <laughs> okay. Immediately I'd be packing my bags. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They're sleeping. They went to bed after that. Nah, I'm telling you, ghost stories freak me out because I believe in ghosts. I mean, not that I don't believe in serial killers and like home invasions. Home invasions also really scare me. But go like ghost movie, like paranormal freaks me out. I feel like he did not show his wife that note. <gasps> that was cheap, but I fell for it. What do you got over there? We know a portal to hell. Nothing back there? Ghosts, evil entities. Is Joe gonna die? And Joe's about to be sacrificed. So what are we gonna do about it? Move out. You're gonna move out. You feel yes, weird? You move out. Just, There's ghosts. I just think they might be able to help. You already invited them, didn't you? He's got a great voice though. Yeah. Like I want him to narrate an audiobook. No, what is that? What? Shit just went down! <gasps> Run! She just left her boyfriend in the basement with that. <gasps> Dude, how? What? What? How did that happen? Bruh, don't. <gasps> love getting scared. I love getting scared when I know that I'm safe. Okay, so it's about 5.40 right now. I finished watching my horror movie. It was good. I liked it. There were a couple of jump scares that got me. Um, it's not the scariest movie I've ever seen, but it was good. It was good. I did um, I did enjoy it. So I figured since I'm feeling a little bit low energy, a little bit uh, a little bit tired actually, and a little bit of a headache, I figured it would be a good time to have my hot chocolate and just get a little bit of sugar in me to see if I can get a little bit more energy so I can finish the night off strong. And while I'm enjoying my hot chocolate and my cookies, I am going to watch my Brendan Fraser movie of the day. It's not going to be, you know, a movie that I've already seen a million times. Tonight I've decided I think I'm going to take it back to 1995 and watch The Scout. So, okay, the combination that I wanted to let you guys in on, because I don't know if everyone knows how good this combination is, and it's a really simple combination. You may have already thought of it, you may, you might already do it, but um, this is a specific combination. So, get yourself some Chips Ahoy Caramilk, and then all you need to do is get some Kraft Peanut Butter, okay? I mean, I guess it doesn't need to be Kraft, but I I haven't had it with any other peanut butter, so I don't, I can't, I can't speak to how good it is. But if you get some craft peanut butter, let me show you. You get your cookie, you get your peanut butter, you just put some peanut butter on your cookie, and then you eat it. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so good. I could die. So damn good. Mm. Like, I almost feel unworthy. Anyway, I'm gonna watch some Brendan Fraser and get some work done. Never seen anybody pitch 
Okay, so today is Friday, January 21st. It's been a couple days since I've vlogged. I have officially started back at work, so life is um, life is different now. <laughs> I had an awful night of sleep last night. I have definitely been feeling a bit off the last couple days, especially the last three days. Um, I did a lot of crying yesterday. It was, a, it was a big crying day. It is what it is. Some days I'm feeling great and energized, and then the very next day it's like I'm dying. What is the point of living? So um, yeah, I'm dealing with that, but that's okay. We're gonna get through it. We're getting through it. It's gonna be great. As far as how much Ben worked, I've done in this vlog, I got 987 words. I'm a little bit upset because I didn't realize that I was so close to a thousand words and I could have just done a couple more words to get to a thousand. But uh, yeah, I haven't written since the last time you saw me write, which is a little bit sad, but I'm back at work and there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff I need to focus on with work stuff. So I haven't done any Ben work, but this weekend is definitely gonna be a Ben writing weekend. That's, that's my plan. It's a Ben writing weekend and also a secret project working on weekend. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your writing's going. Let me know how your January is going. It's crazy that it's already almost over. Like it's almost the end of January already. Time just moves way too quickly. There is never enough of it. There's never, there's just never enough. So thank you so much for watching. If you got to the end of this video, comment down below, stay gold because you are golden. And yeah, I'll see you next time.